That log for beam is no joke, heavy log. Welcome back to our dream in the woods. Uh, had a successful day yesterday milling that 28 foot beam on the sawmill with my brother and uh, my dad, uh, Dennis and Sam. And back at it again, again this morning, uh, I have one more beam to do. It's just a short beam of, out of Doug fur and then I'll switch back to, I'll be done with the beams, done with the posts and then uh, the roof rafters uh, will be next on the agenda. I got this monster big log up here. Um, I have to plan out what I want to do there in the end. So I need a seven and a half by seven and a half out kind of out of the center. And then what kind of lumber can I get with the rest of it? So um, to get a measurement on this thing. The beam itself doesn't have to be that long, but if I make it, oh, the length, then I'll have choices of beams when I go to cut them. So I'll go ahead and, I'm only missing a nine and a half footer, but I'll go ahead and make the beam full length. So let's see what I can get out of this thing. I definitely like having the log bunks here working by myself. Um, it's rolling a log on the lumber mill um, with the skid steer just seems like you end up banging things around where it's a little more controlled when you're using the PV and just rolling the log across. I think in the long run uh, there'll be less wear and tear on the sawmill and safer uh, for me too. So anyway get to it uh, plan out this end and see what I see what we can get out of it all right I know I want a seven and a half by seven and a half out of the center So now that kind of gives me a reference of what can I get out of this, these four outside pieces. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a three inch piece of material out of those, but I definitely easily can get a two inch and maybe a one inch. Perlins are six inches, so or the rafters I need six inches. So you know it's kind of hard to tell here, but um, we'll see what the log gives us. Okay, I brought the saw line down to approximately where I measured there. Um, now this is where the scale comes in handy. Uh, so this is just a regular tape measure off the bunk. Green is th to cut three quarter inch, one, one and a half, one and three quarters. Yellow is two inch and three, it, tan is three, four and six. I ordered this scale from uh, a guy named Roger McGuinan, M-C-G-U-I-G-A-N. And I was able to custom uh, make it uh, for my specifications. So, uh, so far I've been really happy with it. Um, it makes it a lot easier because it 
takes into the account the kerf of the blade um, when you're um, cutting and uh, especially if you were going to do a whole bunch of two by sixes, two by fours. Uh, I found this one to be a, quite a bit better than what comes with the stock uh, Woodlands Mill. And then of course my viewfinder, I made that custom um, and I feel like that has been more precise also. So what I'll do is, since I have that measurement down there, um, I'll just use the scale. That one is at uh, 12 and about 3 eighths. So I'll go up to 14 and 3 eighths. And then that gives me a two inch piece of material uh, that I can cut off, which seems about right. Uh, maybe I could go up three, three inches and just see where three inches gets us over the length of the log. And I've already kind of raised this one end up to kind of account for the, the taper of the log. This is the small end of the log, really nice log, so. Let's look at that two inch material there. Uh, I mean, it's gorgeous looking stuff. Uh, that board is heavy enough for that slab and it's heavy enough that I just can't pack it around. Um, it's, it's big, so pretty cool. Um, This here, yeah, I don't know if I can get a 2 by 10 out of, out of the whole thing, but out of a lot of it I could. So, pretty cool. Now that I have a flat side, I'll flip that log, and then I'll be able to use my log scale, and I'll just go off of the right side off the bunk seven half inches and then I'll see what I can get I'll add two inches to it see what it looks like um, maybe I can add three uh, we'll just have to see awesome log though Alright, so that's now seven and a half inches. I got two long slabs that are two inches off each side. Really pretty stuff. This one's got quite a bit few more knots on the one side than the other side. But unfortunately, to call it quits for the day and get into the house. So Hopefully I have time to come back tomorrow and get this log milled back uh, completed here. Well, there we are the next morning. Had a little skiff of snow uh, last night, but uh, it's a good day. Thought it'd be interesting to See how many board feet, if you were to scale this. 
So I'm gonna go with 15. Of course, I don't have that measurement, but it was close to, it was at least that. This is a small end of the log. It's 19 feet long. And so if you go to this uh, Scribner log scale and go to the 18 foot, because that's where we're at, um, 18 inches on the narrow way, that'd be 240 bird feet in that log. Um, so after I get everything done, get my beam done, and then whatever extra word I have on the outside, um, I will put that in the calculator, see how many board foot I actually got out of the log, and I'll just leave that in the comment section of this video. So check that out. But uh, next thing is to flip this uh, log up on its side and trim it off and see what else we can get um, out of the uh, as I shave it off, I definitely will get some two by material there. So, um, anyway, let's get to it. That log for beam is no joke, heavy log. All right, so that is approximately where the square cant or the seven by seven, uh, actually it's more of the seven by seven, not a cant, but um, so you can kind of see on the sawmill there, it's at 13, but you can't really that's just a reference mark of because I have the square side or the uncut side. So there's two and a half inches from 13 or 15 now. And there's about where our log starts. So what I can do, since this is a small end, is I can go up to 16 here. And see what happens. It's not, it just means an extra cut, but I've used the jack stand there to level it up to about 10 inches underneath uh, compared to the butt end here. So, um, the center of the log here is about 10 inches. And so I've jacked that up on this end to make it 10 inches from the bunk to the center of the log right here. So what I'm trying to do is squeak out a roof rafter here. If I can make a three inch piece of material um, with not very much wane, then I'll be able to then flip it on the side and cut six cut it to six inches. It'd be three by six. So, see if I see if I can do it. Pretty easily able to get a three-inch piece off the top of that. I'm still, there's the center of the tree, so I'm still doing good there. The next thing I'll do is flip it over and hopefully maybe try to do the same thing on the other side. But that's a solid, it's, this is seven and a half inches wide. I'm making my roof rafters uh, three by six, so I'll have to trim off an inch. So I'll have an inch, well, an inch and a half, but it'll be a little bit less than that. Um, off the top of that and I only need them to be 15 feet, a little over 15 feet. This is 19 so I got plenty of material there. And I don't know, is it just me? Um, 
I think that is so pretty. Um, the grain in this stuff. Look, look at that stuff right there. Just awesome. So, haven't cut a lot of dug fur, but I sure like it. Um, this is the last dug fur log I'll cut. I'll switch back to do using the lodge pole or jack pine for the remainder of the roof rafters. And I was kind of making an effort to not mix species just because they'll dry a little bit different, but because um, this is still green and I'm putting this up green, but I don't know. It, it is just a shed for the um, sawmill, but of course I want it to look nice in the end. So uh, my next step is flip this over and try to do the same exact thing okay so got my block saw blade there at seven and a half inches on my mill so right there so <clears throat> now i'm measuring off the log deck and so i can bring this up to ten and a half inches which gives me past and then I take a look at where it looks there and it looks good so make my first cut there bring it down to seven and a half inches which will be a three inch piece and I should be able to get to my second uh, seven and a half by three that then I'll cut to three by six for roof rafters and then I'll have my square uh, seven and a half by seven and a half beam uh, both 19 all 19 feet long so this is a pretty sweet log Alright, here's the final lumber count out of that one log. Got my seven by seven, seven and a half by seven inch beam. There was that top three inch piece, so I cut it down to six inches, so it's a three by six. So that's what the roof raft, that'll be a roof rafter. There's some weighing on this side, but it only has to be 15 feet. And these are 19. And then I got two by material. That first one's seven and a half. Uh, this is a, the second one's a eight inch or eight inch, and then a ten inch. So I will put that through a um, board foot calculator. Um, basically, a board foot is an inch inch wide or inch deep by 12 by 12 is a board foot. And so if this board was 12 inches and there's 19 feet, it'd be two inches deep. So you get uh, two board foot per foot of this. It'd be 19 plus two, which is 38. So that'd be 38 board feet in this one board. Of course it's 10 inch, that's just for, um, example so I don't know good looking stuff uh, I do plan in the future to make trim and tongue groove for our house and um, this would be primo stuff for that of course wouldn't have any bark on it any weighing um, and then they'd be plain this is all rough sawn stuff so it'd have to go through a planer and shaper and all that kind of stuff to get it to the final product but uh, Nice looking wood, good dimensional stuff. Um, real happy with the performance of the woodland mill. Well, that does it for today's video. I'm done with milling beams. All the dug fir beams are complete. I got plenty of material there for the bracing and everything. Um, all the posts are done. Uh, so now it's moving on to the rafters and I have three of those out of 17. So. I'll have to remain, get the remaining out of the lodgepole pine 
and that's my next thing on my to-do list after that start doing some assembly so excited to actually build something instead of just all this milling uh, i enjoy the milling for sure but uh, it'll be cool to get a structure uh, up and and see the log to lumber to actual structure It'll be pretty cool so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit the alert button anytime we drop a new video then you'll get an alert saying that, that you're ready to watch and uh, have a good day